Hello, Mike. Thank God you found me. Please rescue me. <laughs> Cut the act, Mike. Checkmate. <laughs> it's not checkmate. My queen is still alive. And she's blocking you. This man! <laughs> Very funny. How did you find me? I almost didn't. But thank you for leaving me a clue. <laughs> what clue are you talking about? Put yourself on down. That was a gunshot. Oh God. And I'm afraid the worst might have happened to Mike right now. This is bad. This is bad. What do we do now? What do we do? What do we do now? And I've just received the coordinates of where Mike called us from. Okay, the baby guns. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm going there now. Okay, and okay. I promise I'll find Mike. Okay, please, Dead please, please. Or alive. Please do that. Do as much as possible. Yes, sir. A few moments later. What did you find? The place was empty. Oh god, god. I'm just going through the transcripts here. I just see that as you found the drugs in Mr. Frank's apartment. How come all this? No, that's not true. It was Mike that actually found the drugs in the printer. Then why is lying to me about all this? Why? Good. I don't know. But I'll find out. Okay, okay, okay. Please do, please. Excuse me. After I found out that you lied, you said I was the one that found the drugs in Mr. Frank's apartment. Yet it was you that found them. I got so suspicious. So I went to my house. I started searching throughout my house. Guess what I found? The same exact drugs. In my house, Mike. In my house. That makes it very easy. You are under arrest for the possession of illegal substance. Dead police officers don't arrest people, or do they? Your fingerprints were all over those drugs, Mike. I thought you were smarter than this. What does that have to do with me? You see, so I went to your house, and guess what I found? A condom. A condom, Mike. A condom full of spams. Your spams, Mike. So forensics did their job and your spams were in the condom mine. That probably was from a long time ago. Do you know what else they found? Juices from one Miss Chantel that lives at Victory Avenue 44. What have you done to Chantel? <laughs> Tell me, what have you done to Chantel? On a scale of 1 to 10, how badly do you want to see her again? What do you want? Good. A lot of things don't add up, Mike. Please make them add up now. Hey, Bill. Hey. How are you? I'm okay. Is everything alright? Yeah. What's bothering you? Nothing. Please tell me. Nothing. I, can, I cannot help you if you cannot tell me. Nothing, baby. Babe, yeah. what's bothering you? You remember um, when I told you about this guy who slept with me and just left me? Yeah. What's wrong with him? He was on Instagram and I found out he was getting married to someone else. So, how does that concern you? Because he used me and just left me. He ran away. So, what do you think I'm about? Revenge. Revenge? How are you going to revenge? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. I'll find it. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you, baby. So I planted drugs in Frank's apartment. I, then I called the police. I'm highly disappointed in you, Mike. You don't understand love. And that's your biggest problem. <laughs> the only type of love you know in jail is the love of God. Detective Mike, I'm putting you under arrest. Do your job. Ah, Teddy Prince, oh, you've done a great job. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Teddy Prince. Ah, you know, initially, I didn't really approve of you. Your methods using approaching this case, I didn't approve of it. But now I'm well convinced, I'm well convinced that once I leave this office, once I'm gone, this office is in good hands. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Job. Hope you have um, released Mr. Frank and Clegg's records. Right away, oh, that's very nice of you. Good.
Hello? What do you mean Mike and his girlfriend has escaped? How did that happen? It's okay. When I'm ready, I'll look for him and I'll find him. But for now, I've got to sleep. So good night.